Right, here we are. We'll go up here. This this is one of the nicest spots I know on, on these downs, the Brighton Downs, this lovely slope here. Um, it should be access land, and it wasn't. And that just shows how cack-handed the, the whole access land designation process was, that a site of this kind of quality with so many lovely things. It's got this snail. It's got this lovely snail called the Scree snail. I call it the Scree snail. Some people call it the chrysalis snail. And, and this snail is a snail that you'd usually find on, on mountains. You get them in the Alps. If you go up into the Alps, there, there's a different species of Scree snail um, in every valley you go to. <laughs> and this snail likes steep slopes that are a bit chilly and north facing and remind it of the Alps, where its ancestors lived. It's here. It's a real rare thing. And there's lots of really nice mosses. There's lots of really nice old meadow fungi and all sorts of lovely stuff. And beautiful flowers and butterflies and that. It's perfect for Brighton people to, to enjoy as part of, as, as part of the, the places they enjoy strolling to. But Hey, it's, it's not statutory access land. Being in nature always makes an absolutely gigantic difference. And the best way of being in nature is to just treat it for what it is. Part of your heritage. Part of your... This is about a right to roam. A right to roam. This is not about asking permission. This is about taking what has always been ours, you know. The earth is a common treasury. My mum and her dad, my granddad, talked about the downs a lot. She, she, she'd talk about how they, they just walk forever on the soft turf, the soft turf under, underfoot, with, with the scent of thyme, always the scent of thyme she'd talk about uh, as you, you tread the soft, soft turf and the, 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 scent of, uh, the scent of the gorse, the coconut scent of the gorse. And above your head, um, the skylarks singing, always the skylarks in the, in, 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 in the sky above you. You know, these lovely, bare, organic, soft, um, rounded shapes like mushrooms or bodies, or like the orb of the earth or the dome of the sky. Everything organic and rounded and smooth and no fences, no trees. This was a treeless landscape. And that was a positive quality, not a negative quality. Its treelessness was what, what gave it its sense of stretching immensity, of vastness, of freedom. That's why we call our organisation Landscape of, Landscapes of Freedom, because we were founded on the Downs, and our, our first big mass trespass was on the Downs, which was until just, just within the living ex experience of the very oldest of us, still was a landscape of freedom, really, where people could walk without, without impediment or, 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 or let, let or hindrance. And here, you get a little bit of a taste of it, a tiny little glimpse of it here on this slope, that, that lost landscape, which we want back. We want our landscapes of freedom back.